Yeah. <laughs> Hello. So my name is Mike Kelly, and I'm here in Zellum because it's a place I've heard about all my life. My father was a gunner in a Lancaster and was shot down on the 23rd of September 1944 over Zellum and very luckily parachuted out and survived. Uh, the rest of the crew were killed and are buried nearby. So as I was growing up, I heard stories about my father's um, being shot down and then being helped by the local Dutch people and the resistance before he was eventually captured by the Germans about a month later. Um, and he survived the war and so I was um, eventually born and heard all the stories from his youth. So his, his memory of Zellum is kind of very limited in a way because he was, he was shot down on the way back from a bombing raid and the plane caught fire and he had to jump out and it was late at night um, he had no idea where he was or how high the plane was and because I think for comfort he'd only attached half of his parachute he had to attach the other part of the harness and then jumped out into the dark hoping he was high enough so that it would open before he hit the ground. He landed in some trees just on the edge of a, some woods um, in the middle of the night in the dark and was fairly shaken up and a bit traumatised. He was only 19 and he wasn't sure how many of the rest of the crew had got out of the plane but he had seen it explode so again he was unsure who had survived. He walked through the woods, um, along a path at the edge of the woods, until he came to some, to near a main road. Um, it was fairly early in the morning, so there was no one around. But then he did see some people coming and going from a church. And he stayed hidden for a little bit, but then made himself seen. And luckily it was a young boy, a young teenager who saw him there, and told him um, he would get him some help. He took him to a, a nearby house where um, my father was taken in and given some warm clothes and was allowed to sleep for the rest of the day while the family decided what to do with him. During the day they'd contacted some resistance um, members who came that evening and took my father away. Um, he was then moved from house to house. He survived to be liberated by the Russians at the end of the war. Um, after the war, he'd always hoped to return to Holland sometime. He, I think, uh, always felt quite indebted to the Dutch people for having helped him. You know, as a stranger, um, he was helped and given them um, a lot of support despite the danger it would have been um, to the people. But he never made it back. Um, but he did pass on all these stories um, to myself and my two brothers and two sisters as we grew up. Uh, as I say, the rest of the crew were all killed and it's one of my hopes is while I'm here is to visit the grave site um, and sort of see where they are buried and pass on his respects. He died just almost two years ago at the age of 89. So even though he was only 19 when he was shot down, he survived another 70 years. Uh, had a very good life, had five children, eight grandchildren, um, enjoyed life very much. and. Uh, was always sad that the rest of his crew were never able to do the same. So that's why I'm here in Zellum today. Thanks.